Well, downpours of rain made this a dangerous day to be on the lake. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at just how deadly the lakes in the upstate can be. Like thousands of people head to Kiwi, Hartwell, Jocassi, the other lakes every weekend. But one of them sees more tragedies than the others. Far, far more. Nicole Ford breaks down the numbers. The two most visited lakes in the upstate are Lake Kiwi and Hartwell. But in the last 25 years, one has claimed nearly four times as many lives than the other. As you look at the moving waters on Lake Hartwell, 10.2 million visitors per year. Uh, we get boaters from Georgia, North Carolina. And see the words swimming, boating, tubing, you think fun. But these words mark the causes of death on the lake over the years. 111 is 111 too many. Statistics pulled from the Corps of Engineers show that's the number of water related fatalities on Lake Hartwell in the last 25 years. Comparing those numbers to Duke Energy's statistics for Lake Kiwi at 36 and Joe Cassie at 4, it makes Hartwell the upstate's deadliest lake. So the question comes down to why. Anderson County has roughly 30 different boat ramps in addition to parks and, and, and places where people go swimming, where fatalities occur. I think Lake Hartwell provides more access for your average recreator, and with more access comes more people, and with more people come more fatality. As the lake grows in popularity, as do the number of people who may not know their limitations. That most recent drowning that we had was a kid was trying to swim from Singing Pines to the dam, which is only about 450 feet. But if you're tired, you don't get to take a break in 80 feet of water. So Hannah wants boaters and swimmers to know that never think it can happen to you and always wear a life jacket to be safe. I have yet in 13 years to work an unpreventable death on a body of water. The ultimate goal for the number of fatalities is zero. So next time you head out on the lake, make sure to wear your life jacket, check the weather, and just obviously be aware. At Lake Hartwell, Nicole Ford, 7 News.